Hello guys, welcome to online web tutorial presented by Profotex Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WP list table tutorial for beginners and this is our part 6. In this video session guys, we will discuss about that how can we implement search functionality to our WP list table. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about part number 6. For existing code guys, we have uploaded all of our code to this GitHub link. Ok, so if you go to administrator panel. This is the plugin so far that we have developed. In our previous video session, we have linked all dynamic data to our WP list table. These are our posts which coming from our WP post table. Okay, so we want to make a search box here to search some data within this table. Okay, so if we open suppose post section, here is a search box as we can see. So if we want to suppose find awesome post or let's sample post. 6. If I click on search post, this is the data actually filtered from this results. Okay, so we want to implement such a functionality to our WP list table. So how can we achieve that? So basically guys to achieve this task just back to editor. So this is the plugin so far that we have developed. Go to OWT table list. So inside this file guys, we, uh, you have remembered that we have made a function right here. OWT so data list table. Okay, so inside this function guys, what we have did, we actually made the call of this class. This is the instance that we have made. Okay, this class actually contains or inherited from WP list table where actually it has made several methods call to prepare our data for WP list table. Okay, so by the help of this instance guys, we have made call to prepare items and display method. Okay, so to implement the search functionality, we are going to call our search box here. Okay, so let's say that OWT, this is the instance of this class. By the help of this instance, we are going to call a method called search box. Okay, inside this search box method guys, we have to pass some of the parameters. Okay, this search box method is not defined inside this class called inside this OWT table list. This method actually come from WP list table. Okay, so we are now overriding that. So just back to function. So this search box contains or takes two parameters from us. The first called the search box label name. Okay, so inside that we have to pass let's say that search post. Okay, so this is the label name. Second parameter we have to pass the search box ID. Okay, so let's say that search post ID. Okay, so if we save that, go to our browser, reload this page, as we can see that we have a search box now. Okay, this is the label name that we have given right here. Okay, and now if we inspect that, as we can see that this is the ID that we have defined called search post ID. Okay, hyphen search hyphen input. So basically guys, by the help of search box method, we have generated a search box with our custom label name as well as custom ID. Okay, so we want to wrap this search box within a form. This actually generated the paragraph class search box. Okay, this is the DOM element actually given by this method. Okay, so let me wrap this within, so let's say that echo form tag. Okay, we want to wrap this search box within inside a form tag. Okay, so let's say that form. Okay, inside this form, let's say method equal to post, let's say name equal to frm, let's say search post. Okay, and also let's say action inside this form action, guys. Let's pass that. So let's say that server this is a global variable inside this we have to pick the value of php self okay so let's say php self after passing these values guys actually we are getting the value up to this okay so let's say that we're going to append this query string parameter because it is giving up to the path of admin.php okay so just copy that go to editor and let's say that Okay, so we have successfully attached our admin.php file and also with page equal to the OWP list table. Okay, and also we have binded two more attributes called name and the post section. Okay, so if we save that, go to and reload this page, close this inspect, let me find Sanjay and now it is not working. So just back to editor, I think that we did a mistake here. So this is the action we actually we have submitted our form. So just 
cut this text and paste inside this single quotes okay so just go back reload this page let's fire something here and now it is working still okay so only we have to retrieve this value by getting this value we have to filter this result set okay so just back to editor so first of all we have to retrieve the parameter okay so if we inspect that actually the search box method guys made a input type search box okay where it has a parameter of name s okay so we have to actually retrieve the value of this search keyword okay so just back to editor go to your prepare items method inside this prepare items method first of all let me check that if it's set or let's say that search term equal to each set inside each set let's say that post variable and this is something called as okay this as parameter actually coming from this input type search box produced by search box method okay so if we type any value inside this search box this value actually we will retrieve by the help of this name as okay so just copy this let's say that trim paste here else it will be empty okay pass this search term parameter inside this WP listable data because this method actually responsible to display our result set or provide the result set for our WP listable okay so just back to this function inside this method let's define search term okay so let's say search term and by default it should be empty okay so first of all we have to check that some term actually exists or not okay so let's say that if not empty search term it means that we have some parameters inside our search else we don't okay so just cut all these things paste inside this else block okay otherwise we have to make our SQL query inside this search term block okay so let's say that all posts equal to WPDB get results inside this get results we have to make use of like okay where we actually we are going to compare the search term with called post title post content as well as post slug okay so let's say that select asterisk from WP posts or instead of WP posts it's WP DB and this is WP post table okay this will return actually this will return the table name something called WP posts okay so select all from WP post table where let's say post type first of all the post type should be post okay and also post status should be publish okay along with these parameters we have to actually compare something called post title like search term okay so this is search term also we have to compare the search term with our post content okay so just I'm to copy or post content like search term okay so we have to wrap all these things it's and okay so we have to wrap all this post content and post title inside a uh, parenthesis okay so if we say that this is the simple query guys that we have written select all from WP post table where post type equal to post post status should be published and post title something called like with search term or post content something like search term okay so all the result set will be stored inside this all post variable so if we save that go to browser reload this page so let's find called awesome post so if I click hit enter and now as we can see that this is awesome post result set filtered from our WP list table and also let's search for sample it is working okay let's find something demo it's working okay so these are the things guys that we have implemented and we have seen that how can we use our custom search box in our WP list table okay so far guys inside this playlist we have made a WP list table we have made our hidden columns we have seen about sortable columns and now finally we have seen about search box 
So guys, to make the search box in our WP list table, the basic steps that we have to remember is something like that we have to call a method from this OWT table data means from WP list table, this is search box. Okay, this will make a search box inside a paragraph tag. Okay, the first is the label name. Okay, this is the label name as we can see right here. Okay, and this is the search box ID. Only we have to wrap this search box inside a form. Okay, where we have to pass some of the attributes of the form called method, name and finally the action. Okay, so by getting by the submission of this form, we have to retrieve the search term by the parameter called S. This is provided by WordPress. Okay, so by getting this search term, only we have to pass inside the result set. Okay, this is the method actually giving our result set or data. Okay, so by getting search term, we have made our custom SQL query to get all the posts from WP post table by putting some where conditions. Okay, so by the help of this video session guys, we understood about that how can we implement search box to our WP list table. So if you have any query in this video session guys, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day.